going to go over uh, four basic kicking drills that improve uh, the endurance and strength of your kicks. Okay, it's like basic kicks are the most important thing in uh, martial arts choreography, and you know, just doing these drills will get your legs strong enough to perform them with uh, confidence and control. So first is a basic front snap kick. We all know it's knee up, step out back, and then down, right? But for this drill, you're just going to do a ledge or even a wall is fine, and you're just going to lift one knee up as high as you can. Try to have your heel tucked as close as you can to your butt, okay? And then you're just going to snap out and back, okay? I like to do sets of 25, so let's give it a try. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Good, okay? And that's a simple drill for the snap kick. Uh, what you want to try your best to do is not to drop your leg as you're kicking. So as you get more tired, I see people do this. That sort of thing, or they kind of start doing like half kicks. Try to pull it, give me a full range of motion with each one. Bop, bop, bop. Okay? Um, try at least two sets of 25 when you train. If you're an animal, do four sets of 25 for a full 100 kicks. Okay? So you train obviously both left and right. Next is the roundhouse kick. Okay? For the roundhouse kick, you want to think of a roundhouse kick as a sideways front snap kick. So you're going to have your bottom foot facing the wall like that. Okay? If you can see, okay? bottom foot facing the wall. Don't turn it that way, that way, that way. Fully facing the wall, okay? And then back in front here, your leg is up, bent parallel to the ground, okay? If you imagine your body is the center line, and there's a target maybe here along that center line, you want to think your shin is in that center, okay? So don't have your leg like this, okay? Go just like that. And for the roundhouse kick, boom, boom, right? So if this was your target right here, you'll see Pum, I'd be kicking through it. Okay, boom. Okay. So this is the drill for the roundhouse kick. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, again, 25. And what you want to do uh, a little bit of is kind of counter twist. So as I kick this way, I'm twisting this way a little bit. So it's boom. Okay, so I'm going to try 25. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20. That's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And relax. All right, next is the back kick or side kick, okay? To me, essentially, they're both kind of the same uh, muscle groups that are involved. And this is how you train it. Uh, come on to the side here. You have both hands on the wall, all right? And you're going to start both, uh, one foot flat, pointing towards the wall, okay? You're kicking leg, you can just be on the toe here, okay? So first of all, you need to have uh, the proper form of the foot. The proper form of the foot is sickled. That's flexed like this and turned in, okay? A sickled foot, okay? Not pointed and not just flexed. Flexed and turned in. So you gotta get used to your foot in kind of that sickled position as it goes, okay? So the side kick or the back kick drill, you wanna shoot your leg completely straight back and then back in, right? So if you imagine kind of like a straight line from here to your target, maybe somewhere over there, it shoots up, boom, and then back, okay? What you wanna to try to avoid, uh, and a lot of beginners do this, is this kind of like scooping kick. Okay, see how it kind of scoops, okay? I'm starting here, shoot right out, and then back. Okay, out and then back. Don't scoop. And just, it's just like a general martial arts etiquette thing. When you do a side kick or a back kick, you kind of just hold it out there for like a half second. Don't just like snap it and do nothing, right? Hold it and back. The other thing you want to try to do is a counter twist. So as I'm kicking out, okay, I'm actually twisting my shoulder this way, okay? So it's a counter twist. Counter twist, okay? Boom. Boom. Okay, and again, sets of 25 would be great, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty, last five, four, three, two, one. Uh, the last of the kicks is the hook kick, and this is the hardest kick uh, to do, um, mainly because it involves like a lot of muscle groups, small muscle groups that uh, you know, normal person doesn't have. So uh, you just think of it as a back kick first, so both hands are on the wall, uh, like a back kick, your bottom foot pointing to the wall, okay? And you're just starting your toe like this. So unlike the back kick, for the, uh, for the hook kick, you, you want your toe to be pointed, so you can just keep your toe pointed the entire time, okay? Uh, come back here. From here, okay? 
The hook kick should essentially happen this quarter, this like pizza slice if you want to think about it, okay? Your leg should shoot out at this angle and come right across to here. Okay? So, the, so when you're starting out, just get the path of your leg, okay? So I want you to think, shoot it out like a back kick but with your toe pointed. So a back kick dominant is here, okay? But for now you're going to shoot your leg up this way, okay? Don't just lift the leg up, okay? I want you to shoot it out, okay? Shoot it out. And then you're going to bring it straight across this way. And kind of at your midpoint here, where your body is, that's when you're just going to hook your leg like this, and then continue the rotation, open up your hip, and you almost want to think your foot is going to touch the wall or the ledge or whatever you're holding on to. Okay? So, uh, slow motion, out, across, hook. And the hip still continues to rotate and open. Don't just bend the leg. A lot of beginners or people don't know how to hook it, they just do this. They, they just bend the leg like that, right? but it's actually the hip opening. It's a combination of the hip opening and the hooking of the leg that gives you the power. Uh, if you're not that flexible or that strong person, you can, do a, you can do any of these drills at any height, right? I can hook kick at that height, I can hook kick at that height, or I can hook kick up high, okay? So nice and slow, once again, out, across, hook, okay? And again, there's a little bit, all these have kind of a little bit of a counter turn. So as I'm hooking across, I kind of twist my body a little bit. Okay? The other way. So as I'm hooking this way, I'm twisting the other way. Okay? Boom. Alright, well, let's do 25. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 20, last 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. So if you do these drills maybe like 2, 3 times a week, even once a week, if you just get them into your body, uh, they'll clean up your kicks super, super amazing. Uh, and try to at least 2 sets of 25, 4 sets of 25. If you're a machine, I'm out of breath a bit. Uh, so yeah, good training and uh, hope this helps. Take care.